All right, guys. Welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. This is sort of a follow-on video of this AnyCubic Chiron. Chiron, Chiron. Been running now for several days. Haven't had any issues at all with it. Once I got the bed leveled correctly, it's been printing like an absolute dream. Printing incredibly, incredibly well. Highly rate this machine. I rate this machine even more than the Creality, I'm afraid to say. I mean, this is the Creality CR10, obviously V2 sitting beside it. I'm afraid to say the any cubics are a lot better value for money get a lot more with them standard build plate wise on this one it's the same area build plate area as the any as the um quality end of five plus and a hell of a lot cheaper and it works a lot better And obviously the Crowdity machines do have double axes, double rods on the back. And obviously on both sides. But obviously we only have the one sensor. Now obviously on the AnyCubic, yet again the same. Two rods, both sides. These ones are actually fitted with sensors rather than switches. And we have double sensors on both sides, which helps keep the print head level. The bed on these Anycubics are a lot better quality than the beds on the Creality machines. And what I like about this machine, it's an all-in-one package. So obviously we've got touchscreen unit on the side of the printer. Well these Creality CR10 variants, they have the whole separate control unit, which is obviously set away from the printer itself, which takes up a lot more room. Where before I didn't have this machine on there, I could get three printers along here, but now I can only get these two because obviously it takes up so much more space. Yes, the V2 has a filament detector fitted. So does the AnyCubic. The only one downside to this AnyCubic that I don't like is also these small levelling nuts on the platform where obviously the Creality is fitted with these lot bigger nuts. But the AnyCubic does come with auto bed leveling comes with a sensor included where if you wanted to fit that you'd have to buy that optional extra on the Creality you'd have to buy yourself a BL touch the extruder on the AnyCubic is a lot better and it's the same with these small touches like the guard hair that the cables run through you don't get that with Creality so sorry guys for me if anybody's looking for a new printer have a look at the AnyCubic range I mean you don't obviously need to go as big as this Sharon if you don't need to I mean there are other ones available I have got some sheets out here that I had been going through earlier on for price wise for price guys and sizes so this is the one we're now talking about. It's about £308, which is, for you guys if you're watching in America, it's about $399. Now they have now just brought out a new machine, which was an AnyCubic Mega X, which is roughly the same sort of price as the Chiron. But obviously the build plate is only 300 by 300 by 305 where obviously the Chiron is 400 by 400 by 450 a lot bigger build plate but other spec wise are exactly the same so this is obviously the Chiron very good value for money 
Now obviously comparing that to say the V2, price wise, you're looking at about another extra 80 pounds and an extra $100 for you guys in America. Uh, smaller build area, I mean, you've only got the 300 by 300 by 400. Everything else is near enough paper wise this is guys, this is in real life, this is you know what I've actually got from Purality or any Cubics website. This is what they're telling me. Now compared to obviously the CR10S, obviously the print bread's not print, I always say print bread. Print bed on the V2 and on the S are exactly the same. Price wise, the CR10S comes in at the same sort of price as the Anycubic. Obviously the Anycubic you're getting a lot bigger build area. Now obviously with the S, I mean obviously I have upgraded to a metal extruder. It does come with a filament detector. You have got the dual rods. Um, it's an okay machine, but this is now up for sale. I'm now selling this one because I have ordered the. Uh, I have. Can't remember what I've ordered. I've sent the printers. The Anycubic Mega X I've just ordered. So this machine is actually going to be going because I just. I just. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Creator to a nice printer. I just don't like this setup just takes up too much room you know I could get two normal printers in here where at the minute with this setup with this on the side I can only get one I'm just shut the lid on that. I've still got my resin printers now the side this I need to go back a bit because this thing's a huge beast as you can see I've gone full on any cubic at the minute guys a lot of my Corality printers have all been sold this is the Anycubic Predator, mentioned it before, fantastic printer, working really well. Once again I've got this set up, this was so easy to set up. Bed levelling wise, you can see the actual bed on this is fixed, so there's no adjustment to be made. You just have to drop the nozzle down to the bed with a piece of paper underneath. Once it touches, that's it. You plug the sensor in onto this and then that just auto levels the bed for you. So yeah, that's been printing away. I have actually finished a print with it, which was this T-Rex skull. Printed this T-Rex skull on it. Came out incredibly well. Never having actually used or owned one of these sort of printers before. It's quite impressive, but it's a bit OTT for what it is. It's just, I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, it's just fun to have because it's just a bit different, but it sits about three foot tall and it does take up a hell of a lot of space and obviously sitting beside this we've got the Anycubic 4 Max Pro now I bought this because I want to do some ABS printing but after trying ABS now it just, it's just stinks I mean even this big open garage it stinks I mean yeah it's stuck to the bed and everything all right but I, I just I don't know I think I'll stick with my PLA and PETG I'm just putting a little picture frame in there at the moment. It's quite a small compact printer. And obviously we've got the Mars, I've still yet to use this machine. But obviously getting back to these Anycubic printers. As far as I'm concerned, they are ten times better than the Creality sort of counterparts. Now it's quite hard to compare these two because obviously there's a lot bigger build plate on the Anycubic compared to the Corality but obviously the Anycubic is depending on where you get it from obviously these prices are based I've actually got off there off the website the main websites you go to places like eBay or Amazon or things like that you can actually probably even get them cheaper still so like I said this Anycubic works out at about £100 cheaper than the V2 and you get a lot more for your money I mean I have had, I have done it, I mean at the minute I'm printing a cabinet for a Nintendo Switch so I can't really show you too much. Um, I did print this part earlier on. But you can see the quality. I mean it's smooth. I 
came out incredibly well. So I'm very pleased so far how that's going. I would, I would highly, highly recommend it. Value for money wise guys, you just can't go wrong. I mean, yeah, I will keep. I'm going to keep the V2. Obviously, the 10S is going to be sold. And if anybody's interested in it, drop me a message. And uh, I'll get back to you. If not, I have got it listed on eBay. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to share my experiences so far with this Chiron. And it is fantastic. Once I've got this bed levelling thing sorted out, it was absolutely fine, but that was just my mistake. And it's just working flawlessly. I haven't had no failed prints. I've had nothing come unstuck off the bed. Um, I have had absolutely no issues at all whatsoever. It just works. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for an alternative to Creality printers, and trust me, I have had a few of them. I've had what I've had the Ender Three, uh, the Ender Three Pro. Lovely little printer, but. You know, it's ideal for a beginner, but it's got such a small build plate, you can't really do too much with it. I've had the End of 5, the End of 5 Plus, I've had the CRX, I've actually got a CRX Pro. I think it's the only one I've seen so far floating around in the UK for sale. This is actually currently for sale. It's not one that I actually need to keep, so that's for sale. This is the Pro version, so it's got the silent motherboard, BL Touch installed. Um, I've also had a CP01. So yeah, I've had my fair share of priority printers. But then I thought, you know, got to keep fresh content on the channel, so I'll swap over and try a different brand. What I say, glad I did. Won't look back. But give these any cubics printers a look, guys. They are, they are well worth it. Easy to set up. In this one, I did have to put just you know, well you've seen my, if you've watched the video of me assembling it, I assembled this one. Obviously the Full Max Pro, they do come assembled. Uh, the Predator, there's two versions of this, you can buy it um, unassembled or assembled. I bought the unassembled version, but it was simple enough to put together, it's just a matter of four bolts on each corner, really, that was it. And then just attaching the springs and attaching the rods down here to the hot end, and that was it. Uh, the X that we've got coming, the Mega X, which will be a later video, I've got to wait for that to turn up, that comes fully installed, so we'll have nothing to do to that at all whatsoever. Yeah, the build, build volume's a little bit smaller, we've only got 300, 300 by 305 on that one, but I mean, we aren't losing too much compared to the Creality, what we're losing, 95 millimetres, so 9.5 centimetres. Well, I'm not really going to worry too much about that. And also come up in the later video as well guys if you're interested now i reached out to uh flash forge because obviously buying these printers all the time is getting expensive hence the reason i have to keep selling them so i reached out to these guys and they offered me a nice discount on a printer so i end up getting this dreamer nx i haven't actually done anything with it yet i have literally unboxed it but i haven't put it together or anything yet so that'll be a later video so what i want now is it going to be a dream or is it going to be a nightmare? So stay tuned for that one. So that could be coming in a later video. So yeah guys, my recommendations currently at the moment, if you're looking for a new printer, big build plate. This is the kitty for you. Don't go and get the 5 Plus because that printer was nothing but a pain. From, just a pain. I had to replace the hot end on that before I could even start using it. Well, like I say, I've had no issues with this printer at all whatsoever. So, give any cubic a go, guys. So, if you think of any other printers you would like me to think about having a look at, which is sensible prices, please. I've seen the prices of some of these printers, they are just stupid money. But if you think of any other printers that you'd like to have a look at, or be featured on the channel, leave me a comment down below. If there's any more information you'd like to know on any of these printers that I've currently got, give me a shout. I can let you also, I can let you also, give me a shout. I'll answer any questions that you've got. Obviously, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe. We're now up to 167 subscribers. So thanks for that, guys. I'd just like a few more, a few more of you could leave a few more comments or likes. It'd be 
helpful so I know you know if what I'm uploading is is good or not so yeah guys that's it for my sort of midweek waffle I'll leave you all to it and yeah thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one cheerio